What up dudes, Jay. I am going to show you my mini scheme, what I run on offense for the most part. My first, I run uh, Ace Pair Flex, Ace Pair Chief, as we would like to call it in the Pittsburgh scheme. I am basically beating the shit out of everyone. For the most part in the Mutt game modes and uh, I'm pretty sure I'm like the only person that runs this offense. And we're going to move the ball back. Da, 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 da. And you're going to want two tight ends to receive a decent running back for this scheme. The reason we run from Pitt is there is a slant. And it's definitely the best ace pair chief out there. And basically, the only adjustment we like to do is we like to fade the X receiver, the A receiver. And depending on what we're seeing from the defense, we will put the running back on a flat in case some kind of blitz coming. And this play right here, that this is this is the play, this is what we like to come out in. The first read is going to be X on a quick pass if it's zone and it's baselined it should get open every single time as soon as you snap as you see how the block sheds are in this game this is how you're you're not going to want to be attacking deep you're going to be want to making quick throws uh accurate throws getting rid of the ball quick and seems like this could be the thing the first that's the first read if it's not there they're going to have to use it most likely to take it away if it's not there we're gonna th we're gonna check back over to X and see. There's a ch we might. This is, we're gonna put him, when we have him on the fade. We're gonna put him. We're gonna throw a high uh, bullet pass to him if there's space. If we re if we notice it's man, we'll be able to tell as soon as uh, Garcon breaks if a DB follows him. Deshaun Jackson's gonna end up getting open and then uh, on the inward C route. That's gonna beat man every single time. And you're going to want to throw it just as he makes that cut to the, just as he's about to make the cut to the right. And we also have the drag and the flat route. If we, we throw the flat route, if we know we're going to get screamed at. And let's just see how it goes. We're just going against random defenses. I'm sure the defense is going to show set and then like engage it every time. But yeah. Boom. Let's see how many times we can do this. Oh, shit. All right, here's the man. See? Boom. This is the main play that we're running. This is, our, this is basically the setup we do every time. Zone. You can almost, you can free throw this every single time. Every, almost every, it's like, it's it's basically, it has to be used. Sometimes you get right there. There's our high bullet pass. We're going to throw it to the outside every time. High lead pass. That's going to get caught every single time. Should get that animation every single time. Oh, that should have been caught. Even if it's, if it's played right away. You wait a second, you can still throw it. You can high lead pass it inside. We're just gonna we're just gonna keep doing this. Just see all the different type of reactions we get. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Like this play this play deserves attention. And this like just to throw it. Oh, there's our engage eight we were talking about. There we would have thrown it the circle. Or uh, yes. Now we're just showing high bullet. If maybe they were trying to use it and pick it off right off the bat. So you're getting the gist of this. This is our this is our main thing that we want to attack right here. Oh, that's the worst part ever. All right. Next, you can see that's a very effective play. Next, we're gonna show. I'm not sure how effective this is gonna be without baseline, but we'll see. If we read cover two, four verticals, very good. Um, run tap two. All right. We're still gonna pay tap when we're running this. Is that this is how we like to beat cover two a lot? If we think we read cover two. And we're still going to look at that quick pass on Jackson. A lot of times we're going to drag R over the middle in case we get screamed at. They're usually they're going to use that eventually. Hope, But if we read cover two, we'll see how this goes. Oh, Tampa two. Stayed with him. Right there, you're going to take the check down. It all depends how the zones are playing. We might not want to play Tampa two. That's going to fall up the entire time. Let's bullet p pass, leave that outside. Tampa 2 is it's Tampa 2 is like cover 2 sink. Let's play. 
Most likely you're gonna get block shedded, but it that's gonna be our read versus cover two. We'll run a different type of different type of cover two. Um cover two hard flat. Easy read. You get the gist of that. Alright, next play. The another reason we want to run this play is or this the reason the first play that we run is the main reason we really, really like this formation. We also have an HB stretch, which is gonna make them have a wanna have Rundy. And you know, all HB stretches are it's a, it's a decent HB stretch. It's basically if they're not base aligning if they're base aligning, it it's probably gonna get locked because it's weak. It's uh, they're gonna have a guy to the right side, but that's where you're gonna get that quick pass then to be able to use. But there's uh, definitely you if you watch me play, there's definitely a big play possibility. This is what a lot of bad, whoop, a lot of bad uh, player. If you're playing bad people, they don't they're not in the habit of baselining. It's a pretty good run. We like it. We also, a lot of people are setting up. The thing about this is, is you usually will come out first play, run the stretch. So they think, you know, this is going to be our stretch play. So they're going to see 2-2-1 two, two, type of, 2-2-1 uh, two, two, type of defense. So they're going to come out and run defense. And this is a passing, passing scheme. All right. We also have the dive in here, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Um... We're gonna mix that in there too. We don't need to show you that. It's a it's a decent dive. All right, next play we like to run would be receiver under. And basically, we're gonna block our running back. We're gonna in route Davis. We're gonna flat Garcon, and we're gonna read Garcon. Jackson first two reads to see if the flats are played. The thing. We miss this throw to the receiver on the flat a lot. And then we're going to come back over the middle. That read that read uh, route is going to get open almost first. Everything, we're going to high pass it. The thing it takes, the reason we don't read that first is it takes a little bit time to develop. So that's why it's our third read. Let's just see what we get. All right, we're going to have man. We're going to hit the in right there. Those in routes should beat about everything. Um, definitely need to be user. Oh, let's see what kind of defenses we get. Oh, here comes the engage it. I don't have a second PS3 controller. <laughs> do, 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 do. Just take the read. Take our, you know, five yards. Could be more. Could be, could be an interception if you don't make the read. <laughs> But we also like to go to this in the red zone. You show what I mean. Um, woo! That was Tampa too. But usually, that's that guy who deflected that is gonna be the user, and he's probably gonna bite down on one of these routes. We can always keep that drive. Sometimes I'll do this. Sometimes I'll keep him on that drive. If I'm if I'm 100 looking for a read, I'm gonna do this setup where I just and Davis. If I'm gonna high pass read, Jesus, you're gonna get you get the gist of this. Man, another good play. Another good play. If you've been watching my game plays. You would know this is exactly what I'm doing. I usually save this play for the red zone. I would just like to hit one post over the middle. <laughs> Come on, block shed. How do you guys like the block shed in this game? Pretty OP if I say so myself. That's why we need we have a quick pass offense. Jesus. I'd like to do I'd like to successfully run this one time, not just engage it. We gotta get rid of it. No, he's going to be... Yeah, yep. <laughs> uh, oh, 
we give up. All right. All right, we completed it one time. Point proven. All right. Next play, we usually save this next play for the red zone. But a lot of times, you're going to see people sending types of man blitzes. And... See, it's pretty good. I'll show you what I mean. I'll go 4-3 over. What's... Or 4-3 under. Interesting. All right, this is... We're going to flat read, or we're going to... Uh, or we're going to put them on a little three-yard out route. Depending. And if this is... The first read is always going to be square. We're going to pay attention where the user is. If it's man... It's going to be GG. It should be GG. It's going to get open every single time. Um, we usually save this for the red zone. Um, sh show you. Because it's a quick pass to the inside. Where if the user... Oops, it's almost guaranteed yards. As you see, I seem to always call it at the right time. If they're sending, if they're sending a man blitz, they're going to be in trouble versus that. And we also have the tight end on the corner, and we have that really funky. I don't know if that exactly the route Jackson ran, but now we do the first run defenses. Do, 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 do. Run and play. Good effective moving the ball. This is a, definitely a game you want to have a good quick passing offense. Obviously going to require the user to be there so definitely going to want to be attacking other parts of the field. Look at the flats. That should beat man every single time. Hopefully you got a good route running tight end right there just in case. Let's see if we can get some zone. I hit the wrong button. That's Definitely going to want to pay attention to where the user is at. Let's see. Flat. Flat's open. Take it. Hopefully rat catch it effectively. You know, you're going to have that high-low read versus zone. Should be able to... Should be to everything. Just going to make the right read. And eventually, if everything's taken up, should have... That was not worse than... This, the last route is definitely a good route versus zone. And man, I'm probably going to get sacked right here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take the right read. Let's see if I can get this last route to develop. Oof. I think you got a you're gonna want to bullet pass that down. This is our last Woo! Look at that ball go. This is our last read, so we're rarely ever going to throw this. Just It does get open versus everything, just it takes so long to develop. So R1's taken. You know. Fail. We're do all doing this in one take. We don't care how bad this looks. Alright. You get the gist of it. You get the gist of it. Alright. Next play... Steeler drive. Um, basically, just like uh, the previous play, we're probably going to put X on a flat route. There, it's kind of like a quick pass because it only takes, it only requires uh, one hot route. We're going to put him on a flat. We're going to have that corner again. We're going to have a drag coming over the middle, and then we're going to have that deep in route coming over the middle. Everything is going to get open for the most part. All good routes right off the bat. X is taken, square is taken, boom. That's going to be our last read. It's going to beat man. It should beat zone. Basically, if everything else is if everything else is guarded by zone, that circle route, the last one developing, should be open. We're hoping. As you can see, it's our last. It's our last read, but it's getting open versus everything. Shitty. Of 
quick passes for days. Basically, all these routes can be quick passes to that receiver, as you can see. Remember, our first original play is what's definitely going to open up everything else. And you get the idea. I hope you get the idea. Now we're going to go, all right, let's say we're seeing a lot of man press. There's a couple things we're going to do versus man press. Let's come out in four verticals, formation. All right. The first thing, if we do see man press, this is one thing we like to do. That route's going to beat that every single time. So we can we can always keep him out of the out of the backfield. That's going to get open. But I feel like he you know when he's out at that receiver thing, it's a lot more effective. You know, a slant coming over the middle, so we got more than one read. Probably a good thing. All right. Another thing we're going to do if we see man press. Oh, we don't want to. We got to motion someone else. Another way we like to beat man would be motioned out, motioned out out route, and we get screamed at. Gotta love the block shift. All right, the reason we're gonna motion him a couple steps is in case they are pressing. I don't have another controller to demonstrate this, but you gotta believe. Just believe me here. He's not gonna get pressed. Now, as soon as he breaks, boom. So, say we're, we're just going to run verticals if it was their man pressing us. Audible to verticals. It's our uh, feeder. You know, keep the running back on that little... He's going he's gonna to get open no matter what. It takes a little time to develop. Um, to put a tight end on a slant. Definitely want a tight end on the slant. Whatever one you want. Um, and then just motion. You're going to want to throw it right as he's going to set. Just get the timing down. Boom. Let's see what else we got in here for you. Gotta love it versus play now. Let's see, have we gone over? Oh, it's the other shot. This is a quick audible. Um, definitely good versus man. Also, we're gonna flat Jackson. We block him. Might put Davis on a fade for a high pass, just in case it's zoned. Drag read. Hopefully we don't get screamed at. All right, we got our man that we wanted to see. As soon as he breaks, boom. Boom. Always take the flat road if you see it. You, you definitely gonna want to get accustomed to how uh, defensive backs react because you definitely don't want to throw a pick. See how it is for a zone. Still gonna have a nice little pocket right there. So you can see, good play. And this is my ace pair chief mini scheme in Pittsburgh. Only can be run from Pittsburgh uh, because most of the plays we like to run. Uh, P A Y drag. That's our money play. That's the quick pant play. We can basically throw that verse anything. Uh, there's a couple other plays we don't mind, but that's the gist of it. Uh, thank you. For watching, friends. Uh, hope you enjoy this little minute. It's definitely different. I am not seeing anybody else running any type of offense like this. So, peace. And yeah.